Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this video. Today I'm going to introduce you a chatbot that, that, that I developed. The background of developing this chatbot is to help a company answer frequently asked questions during their summer intern recruitment procedure. Uh, in this video I'm going to introduce the steps of developing this chatbot step by step and hope to give you the guidance of how to do a text cleaning, text mining, language processing and the very basic human computer interactions uh, in R. Let's get started. I break down the methodologies of this uh, uh, developing process into seven steps. First is to convert the training question into a document term matrix, or you call it a DTM. Basically, this, this is a sparse matrix with ones and zeros. After that, I match the matrix with each training question with its corresponding answer to form a training matrix. And then I use this training matrix to train a SVM model. And after that, I propose another, uh, basically I propose a testing question that I want to test. And then I convert the testing question into another DTM, just like the DTM in the training question. It's going to be another sparse matrix of ones and zeros, but this time it only has one role. Basically just to represent the particular question that I proposed. And then the sixth step is I merge the testing DTM with the testing DTM, uh, with the training DTMs. Uh, but uh, but here I want to have uh, ones under each term in the testing DTM and zeros under each term for the training DTM. And after doing all this, I predict the answer with the training SVM model and the proposed question uh, that I have. So introducing this way could be a little bit of vague. Uh, but now I'm going to go through each step in detail. First of all, I need to load the data. So now I load the data. And here I'm going to give you an overview of what this data looks like. It's actually very simple. I only have two columns. One is question, the other is response. I have almost uh, 200 questions in here, but I only have like 20 something uh, answers. So he, for here, each question uh, is uh, corresponded to a response, but uh, several questions can, could share a same response. So this is the idea of this question and answer uh, data. Okay, and then let's move on. And after that, I need to claim the training the the, the training questions. I need to do some cleaning in R. I we, I need to use some packages here. I'm going to use this snowball and the text mining. So I load these two packages, and to clean the text data, I need to first change it to a corpus. What's the uh, 21 line 21 do? And then line 22, I need to convert them to lower cases, and then remove number, remove punctuation. And here, uh, the line 25 uh, is uh, meant to remove all the stop words in this question, but uh, after several testing. Uh, I believe it is actually better to not remove those steps, uh, those stop words. Uh, I will I will show you why it is like this. But here we just don't move the stop words, the English stop words. But we need to stem each word. We need to stem each word. This is as also a, an experience of uh, several testings. So stem each word. Basically, remove all the plural forms. Just retain the stem of each word. And then remove all the white spaces. After doing the cleaning, it converted to a DTM and converted to a data frame. Basically, just to another uh, data form that is easy to deal with. So now I have this uh, data set, data frame. It's just to show you what it look like. So it's going to be a very sparse zeros and ones matrix, as I just described. Uh, so for each uh, column in here, it, uh, re it represents a stamped word, and each row represents a question. But here, a, a question is represented by a matrix with zeros and ones. Basically, mean, uh, here, when it have a zero, basically means in this question, it, has, it, do it doesn't have a word called academ. This is a stamped word. It could be a stamped word of ac academy or something. But it doesn't have this word in the in that question. But here now let's have a uh, I mean let's let's look for a one. Uh, okay, let's look for okay, see here I have a one in here. That's internship. 
So basically means that in this question, it has a term called internship. All right. So as it, 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 it goes through, um, it is the same way for all these questions. Okay, I have this data set and I need to incorporate a, a response column to the matrix that I just built. So that this is what the, this step do, the 33 and 34. So I run this uh, this step. Uh, so what I have here is a training data data matrix. What does it look like? Well, it, look, it more or less looks like the same of the data set that I, uh, that, that I just built. What's the difference here is I just uh, incorporate a a response column in here. This response column is corresponded to each question. All right. So this is going to be our training data, our training matrix. And then I use this training data, data training matrix to uh, train a SVM model. And our I need to load this package called E1071 to train the uh, uh, the SVM model. So I load this uh, package and I train the SVM model and incorporate it into SVM fit. Or this can put up, can can, have, can, what, can be in whatever name that you want, but I just incorporate it here. So so far I finished all the training part, and then we're going to go through the testing part. The testing part is more or less the same with the training part, but is, but, but in here we just have one question, not a bunch of uh, questions. So here I build up a, a function, but I would like to show you what uh, what is happening here in this function. So let's go through, let's go to here. Let's go to here. So all this code is uh, what has been enclosed in the in the function. So let us suppose that what what, what the question that we want to ask is uh, what role do you have? What role do you have? So uh, what basically is asking the company what kind of positions that uh, there, there could be in your uh, summer internship during a summer internship. So for this, I need and I, I, I also need to do some cleaning for this uh, uh, for this question. So basically, I, I, I change it to a corpus first, and then I remove uh, transform to a lower form, remove numbers, remove punctuation, um, and then stem the word and remove, remove uh, this uh, white. Uh, place and then I have a testing data set a, a testing data set which is a testing a data matrix let's see what does this look like so in here you see that the is, is going to be a matrix uh, with just with, with all once with all once and it represents the question that we proposed but here uh, we need to add um, we need to add the, the, the training the, the training terms to this matrix to, to this matrix in order to have a training uh, a, a training data set a, a training data frame so what I do here is I, I add the, all the terms in the training data set to this uh, testing data set to form a eventual testing data uh, testing data uh, matrix so let's see what does this look like so you see here that uh, I have ones for how uh, so have role what you in here, and so so basically this this four terms represent our proposed question, and the matrix uh, from here are all zeros, are all zeros, and and these ones are all the terms in in our training data set in our, in our training basically the training matrix, and this matrix it's our eventual is our eventual matrix that we're gonna put in the SVM model. For testing, okay. So now I have this, and then I so I have this, and that's the data test. And then I, I need to train it to uh, uh, to predict the answer to this question. Our question here is what role do you have? So let's see what I have. What, what the what the computer will give us the answer. So let's see here. That says the answer is the internship program combines rules across most of the business unit and the corporate uh, service terms. So basically, this is the right answer. This is the right answer that we so that we're expecting. That we're expecting. Yeah. So so now so basically this is it. Uh, well, this 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 chatbot has already been built. Has already been built. So let me explain a little bit why I don't want to remove the stop words. So because if you see here. If you see here that uh, uh, 
a question could be a very, um, you know, whatever question that we want to propose, it could be very simple, only have like a few words, and those words, you know, they, they could have a uh, uh, very, um, and, and those words, you know, most of them could be just like stop words, and if we, if we remove all of those stop words, uh, is it, it could be, it, 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 we can have very little left, and that could uh, create some difficulties for the computer to uh, to process. So that's why actually I wanted to uh, retain it in here, and it actually works out pretty good uh, on small data. Uh, and I, I I imagine could be like the same way on on, on uh, well I can't I cannot say it this way, but it's actually it works it work it uh, work, work pretty well on this project. Okay, so this is what's happening in this function, but then now let's build up this function to test them more questions. All right, let's run this fact. Uh, let's run this function. So you see here now I have a function called predict. Predict. So let's see. Uh, let, let, let's predict. Um, let's test a few uh, questions. So for example, if we want to say some greetings, so let's say hello. What the computer will give us? Oh uh, yeah, you see. Here it gives us a uh, hello as the answer, and then let's see. How about good morning? Good morning. Let's see. Okay, so it gives us an uh, an uh, answer called good morning. How about some uh, detailed questions? So for an example, uh, so see here. Do I have? So this is an interview, like recruitment chatbot. So the questions uh, should all relate it to. Um, uh, the question related to the recruitment. So it cannot be whatever question that you want to ask. For example, what your hobby is, or like uh, uh, what you're from. But uh, it, it should be related to the recruitment. So it could be like, do you have to go? Do you have to go? Uh, let's go through uh, uh, in in like interviews. So it asks something about the interviews. So see here that it gives you the answer of uh, how many how many rounds of interviews that you have or, or anything else. And let's try some other ones. So for example, what's the pay? Like uh, what would you so? Uh, what's the payment? So do you pay your interns? Let's type a question mark in here. Okay, see here. All right, let's see here. It could be uh, there, there, there comes a. Uh, Little uh, default in here, a uh, little defect in here. Let's like say, uh, well, I'm well. Uh, it, it shouldn't have this uh, the this answer here. But if we try some other word called uh, what's the what's the compensation compensation for the uh, internship? Let's see what happened here. All right. You see here, it gives it gives the uh, the correct answer. See, like all positions in the program are paid hourly, and uh, some compensation packages. So why why is it this way that the uh, if I have or do you do you pay your interns? I don't have a correct answer, and if I have compensation, but if I ask in this way, what compensation do you have uh, for your internship? It gives you the right answer. It's because uh, so for this for the second one, it has the keyword compensation, and it's a pretty unique and pretty long. Um, Word and it's actually easy for the computer to uh, to detect and to process. But uh, for this one, th this question is rather simple, and the, the computer could have some misunderstandings. Well, it had, doesn't. It, 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 well, it cannot grab the um, the keyword. So, um, so yeah. So there's there's still some um, uh, some defect in this uh, in, in this length in, in in this chatbot. Well, probably because that we don't have like too much of this training data sets, too much scale of training data sets. So that's why. All right, and uh, let's see if we want to say goodbye or thank you, if it can give, give us a, a great uh, way to answer. Let's see, like, thank you. Yeah, I can give you another, like, uh, real, you know, you're welcome, right? Okay, so. Uh, thanks for watching. This is uh, this chatbot project. So it actually shows the principles of uh, working uh, working on this project. If we have like more like larger data sets, it it could have like better performance. All right. Thank you for watching.